It is. But then she flies to, you know, she flies to New Zealand. And it wasn't the 49th and, day. And Australia. I don't know whether, I don't know what day it was, but she didn't seem to be too concerned about what day she flew, so. But you'd help her kill herself if she wants to. You've said that. She is the one who decides, and she is not deciding that. So. But you put two and two together. She'll only fly on the 49th day, but then she seems to fly on, on other days. You say she's not, you know. Uh, of course, some things don't match. I think Susan is living proof that people like Susan shouldn't be helped. Well, you know, I, uh, she hasn't been, that's all I can say. Would you still help her if she asked you to? Sure. I thought there wouldn't be any more twists and turns in this story about the messy assisted suicide underground. But just before I leave, George offers one more. You know, I provided you with a tape. It was not, that was not a real death thing. I was talking to a dial tone. Just keep drinking. Put your finger over your nose if you have to and get it all down. If it seemed like it was a little harsh and rushed, it probably was because I was talking to a dial tone. All right. Is that true? Yes, this is true. Shirley? I think I heard the phone drop, which would mean she is probably now gone. George, I'm quite shocked. Are you really? You're a very good actor. Well, <laughs> I just didn't know what to do. You know, I, I, I wanted to give you an example of how I would work with somebody and um, the kinds of things I would do religiously from, you know, and she was the only possibility. This, George says, is Shirley from Arizona, except her name wasn't really Shirley, it was Karen, and she didn't really die on the end of the phone in that tape that day. She killed herself months later without George's help. As it so happens, this woman finally succeeded on the 29th of October. She's dead now. The Kingman, Arizona police later confirm that a Karen Stern was found dead in a local motel room on October the 29th, 2007. I know George isn't a fantasist. He really did help Pam and Rosemary. He says he's helped 102 people in all. So why would he want to fake that tape? And there's something else strange. Richard Badcock, one of Britain's leading criminal psychologists, said the tape clearly demonstrates George deriving sexual pleasure from helping people die. He's had his orgasm. He's going on to the next one. I wonder how he'll feel when he realises he was basing his confident evaluation on a fake. You know, I provided you with a tape. It was not, that was not a real death thing. I was talking to a dial tone. If it seemed like it was a little harsh and rushed, it probably was because I was talking to a dial tone. All right. Is that true? Yes, this is true. Well, the, um, I suppose the, the two things that strike me are, are, are firstly, for somebody who, um, whose whole approach trades on their integrity in this difficult situation, um, he's remarkably casual about, um, Disclosing the, you know, not just the breaking of the integrity, but you know, the complete absence of integrity in what he said before. You said that it was that it showed him to be sexually yes aroused. But if That's he faked right. it, then does that still hold up? Oh yes, yeah, yes, I, yes. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that part of the comment. I think it makes him feel good all over, as it were. Even though he was talking to a dial tone. Yeah, you know, it's um, because there's an element of fantasy in this. I mean, it doesn't matter who you're talking to, really. It's the, the, the um, uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's the activity that generates its own satisfaction, as it were. I think George was stupid to fake that tape. I think someone who helps people decide whether or not to kill themselves shouldn't play weird games like that. Looking back, I think I gave Susan a harder time than I gave George, probably because I always liked him but he seems hopelessly in love with death, with his calling. I wonder how much less corrupting the love of a calling is than the love of money. You are going to have a great adventure. Look forward to it. I think the things I liked most about George when I first met him 
his libertarian, spiritual, maverick qualities have turned out to be the things I now find most worrying about him. If you've been affected by the loss of a loved one or issues in the last programme, call our 24-hour recorded information line 08456 4 Lines are open round the clock on 08456 4 Thank you.